Advanced Algebra 2, Unit 1A, um, Study Guide. So now we're going to cover in Concept 1A, Solving Linear Equations, Numbers 9 through 18. So on number 9, we want to combine our m's on one side of the equal sign and our numbers on the other. So we, we add the m over, we get 6m equals 0, and then divide both sides by 6, so m equals 0. On number 10, we're going to combine our q's on one side, so let's start by adding 5. So we get 6 equals 6q plus 9, subtract your 9, so negative 3 equals 6q, then divide by 6, just realizing that you're going to end up with a fraction, which is negative 1 half reduced. On number 17, kind of the same thing, is combine your r's. So I'm going to add my 6r to both sides and then add, subtract my 25. So negative 8 equals 3r, so r will equal 8 thirds. And just leave that as an improper fraction. There's no need to write it as a mixed number. Number 12, we need to start by distributing. So we'll have 7t minus 21 equals 2t minus 18 plus 2t. And then let's just combine our t's on the right side, which would be 4t. And then if we'll move those over, we get 7t minus 4t is 3t equals positive 3, or t equals 1. Remember, with the equations, you can always plug your answer back into the original equation. Do the math and make sure the left side matches the right side. All right, on number 13, we're going to start it the same way by distributing. 10w minus 40 equals 4w plus 16 plus 4. Now we're going to just combine our w's <clears throat> on the right side. So 8w plus 16. And now let's subtract those 8w's over. So we get 2w equals, adding 40 is 56, or w equals 28. Now on number 14, we're going to do a method called clearing the denominator. So I'm looking at all my fractions and their denominators of 2, 3, and 2. And I'm going to get a common or a least common denominator between those, which is 6. Now I'm going to do a method where I multiply everything in the equation on both sides by that common denominator over 1. So 6 over 1. And then all at once I clear the denominators. So 6 times 1 half x will leave me with 3x. 6 times uh, 4 is 24. And then 6 times negative 2 thirds is negative 4x. And then 1 half times 6 is 3. Now we can just work the problem. So add our 4x, subtract 24. So we get that x equals negative 3. Number 15, we can use the same method. So our denominators 5, 6, 10, and 3 have a least common denominator of 30. So I'm going to multiply every part of this equation by 30 over 1. So that will be 2 fifths times 30 is 12k, 1 sixth of 30 is 5, 3 tenths of 30 is 9k, and then a third of 30 is 10. Now I'm going to subtract my 9k, so I get 3k equals 5, so k will equal 5 thirds. Now in number 16, so I'm going to look at my common denominator, 3, 12, and 8, or sorry, my denominators, and then my common denominator can be 24. So I multiply by 24 over 1. So 24 times 2 thirds is 16q, and then minus 24 times the 12th is 2 equals um, 24q plus 3. And now I just combine, so I get <clears throat> negative 5 equals 8q, or q equals negative 5 eighths. So now let's look at rewriting formulas, so problems 17 and 18. So number 17 says, what equation do you obtain when you solve the, that formula? So that's the area of a trapezoid for base 1. So what we're going to do is I'm writing the formula. We're going to work backwards. So I see what's happening to base 1. Well, it's being added by base 2 and then multiplication by a half and um, multiplied by height. So to get rid of the 1 half, I can multiply by 2. 
and I end up getting 2a equals my base 1 plus my base 2 times my height. Now I'm going to get rid of that height, so I'm going to divide both sides by height. So I get 2a over h equals, and I can drop my parentheses. Finally, I'm going to subtract my base 2. So base 1 equals 2 times the area over the height minus base 2. So that's choice A. 18 says, what equation do you obtain when you solve the equation 4x minus 5y equals 20 for y? So I'm going to write that, and then I'm going to move everything over that doesn't have a y term in it. So I'm going to subtract my 4x and rewrite my equation. Now I'm going to divide each side by negative 5. So y will equal positive 4 fifths x minus 20. No, I'm sorry, minus 4. And I put it in that form because I looked at my answer choices and saw that all of them, most of them, had the y equals and then the x first.